have a story to tell? I believe you. Ghost. Cryptids. The unknown. Let's talk about it. This is my ghost cast. Hey, Ghostcast fans. This next episode is about my little brother, Ben, a.k.a. Mung. Uh, as usual, stories are are, <laughs> are not funny at the time, but in retrospect, man, they are hilarious. This is one of those episodes. Enjoy. Welcome back to my Ghostcast. It's Raz Gonzalez. Today, guys, I have a special guest, my little brother. Ben, a.k.a. Mung, he's on the line today, so he's, he's here to share some of his, one of his ghost stories and uh, some funny stories here and there. <laughs> There's always a little fun in our, in our troubles. <clears throat> ben? What's up? <laughs> Thanks for having me on the show, bro. Of course, man, of course. All right, so tell us about uh, who are you and... Uh, you know, I know who you are, but my audience doesn't know who you are. They will know who you are after yeah. a while. So, fair enough. Uh, well, um, my name's Benjamin um, or Mung, uh, for those of you who may know me in our little circle. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been training with Threads and martial arts since I was about 13 years old. So, we've known each other for a very long time. And so, here I am today, kind of here to. Share some awesome supernatural stories because uh, we all have them. We all love them. And uh, we, we've shared a few together, too. So I figured why not join in. Oh, that's awesome, man. Well appreciated. So about the house. Oh, yeah, that house. So <laughs> hmm, um, I think the, the specific house that we're going to talk about, this was the one I was living in when I was in my junior to senior year of high school, I think. Uh, we moved around a lot, but it was uh, in this house specifically where some of the weirder stuff happened and some of the crazier things, in my opinion. Um, it started out with um, real crazy stuff. Actually, I should probably describe the house. It was just a basic kind of like suburban two-story house uh, nothing too fancy, nothing too, nothing too crazy. But um, was well, two story, right? Yeah, it was a two story house. I had a bed. My bedroom was upstairs, and um, you know, kitchen, master bedrooms, all downstairs, and everything like that. But um, yeah, the every night at that house, on the uh, on my door, I would hear like this weird kind of like tapping noise on it every night. And uh, it's actually part of the reason why I always close my door when I go to sleep, too, because uh, there's, there's something a little creepy about it that I was kind of like, oh, man. And then after I started hearing it, so I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it sounded like this. Wow. Yeah, you know, that was that happened every single night, every single night. And uh, that, that was kind of creepy. And um, there are other things that happened, too, that I wasn't exact. I'm not exactly sure anymore since it's uh, as to when it happened, whether it's before or after the super crazy incident, it's been uh, it's been like ten years now, I'd say, <laughs> yeah, at least. At the least, yeah. Yeah, at least. But um, yeah, there was a there were a lot of instances where uh, my mom's boyfriends, who were like sleeping over on the couch or something like that, taking naps or whatever, they'd have a uh, some experience where some shadowy figure would kind of like just all of a sudden race down the dips, uh, the stairs and just rush up to them and actually grab them and yank them off the couch and such. Um, it never got that bad for me personally, but it did get kind of bad on my end and in this one specific scenario that uh, that we'll go over as the main topic, I suppose. Uh, that, that Your protection was your room, huh? The door was closed. Oh, yeah. Close the door every time. Every time I got Every time I had a chance. Never left it open. I was like, nope. 
you know, one for privacy, but two, uh, you know, <laughs> two, it's just like, yeah, I, I mess with that stuff. Nice. And okay, all right, well then, so what happened? So the main story at that house for me was, uh, it was like in the middle of the week, probably like a Tuesday or a Wednesday or something like that. I know it was like one of those days where I just got back from school or some shit. And um, I'd say it was mid-afternoon, early evening, maybe like five or six. I can't remember the clock at night. Um, and, uh, you know, I woke up from a nap because that's what high schoolers do. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, instead of doing homework or getting a jab, uh, let's see. <laughs> but uh, no, I woke up from a nap and uh, I was going downstairs to get a, a drink of water, I remember. And so, you know, I just walking downstairs in my little mug and uh, I was just filling it up at the fridge. And that's where, that's where it happened. And um, all of a sudden, there was this ice cold feeling all around me. Like I got goosebumps all over my body and my arms, my legs, my neck, everything. It got super cold for super fast, super cold, super fast. Didn't see it coming, didn't know what was happening. And as soon as I felt that, all I saw was this shadow that just kind of like flew over my head. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was or what had what happened all i know is like what the fuck it is <laughs> i was like oh shit what was that you know and uh and that freaked me out for a sec and as soon as that shadow just kind of disappeared and i was like just looking around all i heard was this loud bang so it was just like bah! and it was just audible throughout the house and i'm the only one at home at the moment by the way so this is happening while i'm home alone and uh with that huge bang the uh, casing for the for less fluorescent light bulbs that were in the kitchen, you know, just, in, just about in every kitchen, you got those long light bulbs and stuff. Yeah. That casing co- completely flew off and it was just swinging back and forth like wildly. And uh, as soon as that happened, you know, I was just like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, instantly went into like uh, a freaking like, oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 And um, I couldn't tell what was going on, but as soon as I felt that and, um, you know, I, I tried to, like, figure out what was going on, like, this impending sense of doom and fear just kind of, like, just closed in on me. And I just kind of, I just, I'm not going to lie, I panicked like a little girl and I freaking ran. <laughs> I ran all the way back to the room. Yeah, I ran all the way back up to my room and closed the door like I always did. And, uh and um, that, that, I think this is the part where you're going to come in on this one a little bit because <laughs> I, th- I think uh, I tried, I might have tried calling you first. I don't remember, but the call wasn't going through for a bit. And uh, event, so eventually I called Patrick. I think it was Patrick at around that time. I called Patrick, an old buddy of ours at the time. And he, he I managed to get my, the phone call through to him. He was like, dude, you got to call through this. You gotta go, man. You gotta go out of here. Go down. I think it's coming to me. I don't know what it is. And he's like, oh, okay, okay. So, like, that phone call went through. And then uh, maybe a couple minutes later, uh, you actually called me. You got back to me. And, um, you know, when you when I picked up the phone, you're like, and I was, I was still freaking out. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I remember, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I remember you were like, all right, all right. So, calm down. Just tell me what happened, all right? Just calm down. Tell me what happened. You know, I took a couple deep breaths. I was like, okay, okay. This is what happened. And then... Oh, I remember. I remember. My phone never cuts off. It never cuts off. That's still, like, the only time my phone has ever got cut off mid-call like that. And uh, as soon as I said, this is what happened, everything just cut off. Uh, I freaked out a little bit more because I was like, oh, my God, no. (laughs) My lifeline. And... um, I called back. I remember. Yeah, I called yeah. You again. called. You called back, and uh, you're like, "Dude, what happened?" I was like, "I don't know. My phone cut off." But uh, anyways, th- this is what happened. And then <laughs> gets cut off again, again. I was like, second time in a row. And I was <laughs> at that point, I was like, I was pretty sure I was about to get murdered by like freaking Freddy <laughs> 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 Cougar or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> and then, and then call, let's call it the tapper. Whoever's tapping on your door. Yeah, shit. But. Um, 
But yeah, um, eventually he called back that third time. Everything went through, and I kind of explained everything that happened. And then uh, I think uh, you arranged to have Patrick come pick, like, pick me up or some something like Wait. that. Oh yeah, it was way. Oh my God, it was. Way. <laughs> Holy shit. <Yeah. laughs> but uh, but yeah. Um, once she kept, once she uh, dropped by the house, I basically just uh, grabbed what I could and just like sprinted out of the house. I didn't even bother looking back. I just like fucking ran out of there. I was like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> nice. Oh dude. <laughs> oh my God, I remember too because I was uh, at the time I was actually at BT's. Yeah. And I was helping him with construction around his house. You know, his father recently passed away, so I was like, oh, you know, helping him out over there. And I get I get this call from Patrick, and Patrick's like, dude, Mom's in trouble. <laughs> you know, he's, he's, something happened to him, man. You've been fucking calling back. He, dude, he's lo- he lost it. I'm like, well, what happened? I don't know, man. Just just call him some supernatural shit. And I was like, all right. <laughs> all right, so I, I call you. And man, I remember you were like, oh my God, I want to fucking die, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, all right, all right, uh, what happened, man? What happened? You're like, okay, I'm like, look, calm down, breathe. And you're like, all right, all right, all right. And I'm like, all right, so what happened? You're like, okay, so this is what happened. I was like, what? Just happened, man, holy shit. Is, the, is there like a killer on the other line going, click, do I hear shit? You know? <laughs> And I was like, oh my God. And I tried calling you back and it was busy. And then I called again. And that's when you answered. And you're like, oh, okay. I'm like, dude, that was weird. You're like, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that's, oh my God. And I'm like, all right. All right, so what happened, dude? He's like, okay, okay. And you called yourself that. All right. So this is what happened. Beep. I'm like, oh shit. And I kept trying to call back because his call cannot be completed. As the other way. What the hell is going on here, man? Oh, shit. I finally got through, man. I don't remember how many times I called you back until it finally connected. And you told me, and I was like, you know, all right, man, I'm going to send somebody right over there because I'm, I'm really far away. I'm nowhere near you. You know, it take me like 30, 40 minutes to get to you, and by that time, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to make it. I ain't going to make it. <laughs> so, I, so I call up way. I'm like, hey, can you do me a favor? Where are you at? I'm on my mother's I didn't understand most of the shit she was saying, and I was like, all right, uh, you like near? I was like, okay, hey, I need you to go pick Mung up from this address. Can you do that for me? Oh, okay. And I'm like, <laughs> like, give me your address, and hey, dude, he sends over there, man. Holy shit, I was right there scared the whole time for you. I was like, dude, I wonder what happened, man. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I was going to be that minority that dies at the beginning of a horror movie. <laughs> 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 the best part like, is we were right. all minorities in this movie. <laughs> exactly. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, man, you're gonna, you're gonna have to take you had to take the hit for that one. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> that was messed up, man. That was messed up. Yeah, that that house was pretty creepy in that in that regard. Um, honestly, I think that's probably the. The one experience I'd say I was like actually like 100 percent conscious, uh, conscious and awake for, you know that that just happened and it just like it just kept happening while I was awake and I I was just hoping it was a bad dream the entire time. I was like, man, this is this is happening. This is really happening. Oh shit! I remember you calling me in, in uh, during one of those calls. I stayed on as long as I could with you, and you were you were you said there's something here at the door when you close that door. Yeah. And it's tapping right now, and you can see a shadow underneath. And you said, you, I, I, if I remember, you said that the thing slightly moved, the door handle. I don't know if it was part of your imagination or part of because you were scared. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, I, I don't know. It's been so long. But one thing I definitely do remember about that house was that there was always that noise that I mentioned earlier on, the do- on my door uh, at night, where it's just that one just tapping their fingers along the door real creepy like just like on the camera right here you know it's like <laughs> no, it was it, the nails it, i know right shit but um yeah that that place was super creepy like that so yeah that that was my experience in that house and uh fortunately it kind of just stayed there for <laughs> the most part well that's good yeah that's good yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, I guess you didn't stay with me and Deshaun long enough to experience the other creepier things that came along, you know? No, you you guys had a lot more than than I did. I I got lucky. I only just got like little bits, you know. Mm-hmm. I never I never had a lot of ex, like supernatural experience, but that was that was probably like the that was probably the one that I've had. Like that I can really say that like yes, I was definitely awake for this. I wasn't seeing shit. This happened. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> <laughs> so you don't you don't remember any of any of those weird experiences on the boat like some of the other folks were feeling. The when, we went on, when we went on our trip to Cancun. Dude, I didn't know things were happening on the cruise. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, that was a hey, life, man. That was, that was a different cruise. phase of my life, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, as you know, I was quite oblivious. Uh, <laughs> <on that trip. laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Uh, you, you were the... Very useful on that trip in some ways. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, people finish their sandwiches. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 really brought people together. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. <laughs> he brought families closer together. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, when we come back. We'll maybe get a little hint of that little story there. Oh, no. uh, Loving stories of my little brother who's a... Man, he gave us quite an adventure. We'll just stick with that one. We'll save the the put the jelly in the bag uh, kind of stuff. All right. We'll be back. Welcome back to My Ghost Cast with your host, Therese Gonzalez. Later on, we'll have some theme music kind of sharing this out. In the meantime, with our special guest, we got my little brother, Ben, a.k.a. Mung. Uh, you know, on the lighter side of, of stories, you got uh, relationships. Me and my little brother were talking between the break. It's kind of, uh, you know, what is My Ghost Cast? You know, what <laughs> what is, you know, it, well, it's relationships in circumstances, you know. <laughs> you got some scary, really scary ass stories that will make you like, okay, I can't tell this story at night. You know, <laughs> I got some of those. And then you got the funnier, lighthearted stories where it's like, no oh, shit, I gotta get out of here. You know, <laughs> stop, save me, save me. Ah! You, know? <laughs> you know, if anything, it kind of connect. It connects to this my story with Frank. When he oh, actually, yeah, your old apartment. Yeah, my old apartment. I'm in California. <laughs> I mean, it's funny as shit from my perspective, but then you would, you know, like put the camera over to Frank and Frank's, Frank tells a different story now. That's some bullshit. Because <laughs> he, he's all like pretending he's calm now when he tells the story. That's some bullshit. Poor ass Frank, dude. So there I am. Just kind of give a little piece of that. Is so, uh, um, I'm in, I'm in California. I'm doing a project manager. I'm working at a construction site. And I'm talking to uh, the doctor who I'm building their stuff. I won't mention his name, but the guy looks like a fish. I mean, that's all I got to say. That guy's a piece of, piece of... Yeah, that guy. Anyways, uh, I'm there, and all of a sudden, I get this phone call. And I'm like, oh, it's Frank. Why is he calling me during this time? And it was about 4 o'clock California time, which I guess makes it about 6 o'clock over here central time or something that that, that yeah. two hour two hour difference so, <laughs> it was it was almost the exact same call when i finally reached you finally reached me with him he was dude i didn't understand what the hell he was talking about 
He's like, oh my god, 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 I, I don't, I don't think I can go back to your apartment again. Oh my god. I'm like, oh dude, what happened? Oh, ah. I was like, all right, I need, oh, shit. I'm like right here and I'm looking at the doctor. Going, uh, give, give me one moment. I can't take this call. And so I talked to Frank. I'm like, hey, Frank. I go, ah, I go, can I, can I call you back in like five minutes? He's like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm like, all right, I'll call you back. So I called, you know, I was like, I went back. To that. He said, hey, you know, I have a personal call. We need these finishing spells up. All right, I shut up, man. I go back and I talk to Frank. And I'm like, all right, Frank. Hey, you go, he goes, yeah, yeah, I'm better. All right, what happened? You know, luckily the phone didn't hang up, right? Oh, shit. He didn't make it. He didn't make it. <laughs> he didn't make it. <laughs> Which I imagine, dude, there's plenty of stories that probably connect in some way like that. Anyway, Frank breaks it down to me and he tells him, you know, he tells me the side of the story. So then, you know, and, and, you know, I get Frank's version. In my head, I'm visualizing what's happening to Frank, you know. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm a shoe ghost. I'm like, oh. But then now when, when I had Frank break it down, we did ghost stories on my birthday party. He turned it in that I, he was calm and collected. I'm like, you know, I'm like, well, his girl's there. There's a lot of people. I'm like, yeah, I'm fucking it. I'm going to take him to that. To that. <laughs> what that noise was? I should try to communicate with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was all Mister. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I, uh, if you're embellishing it a little, I'm like embellishing, yeah. man. I wish I could have recorded the call back then. Holy shit! Oh man, like at least, at least I'm honest. I say I was scared like a motherfucker, dude. I was like, fuck <laughs> this shit. I'm like panicking. Probably like a little girl. I'm out. <laughs> I ain't gonna try to talk to it. I am not. I'm getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> oh my god, dude! No, you can look, punch I'm... people. You can't punch ghosts. I'll just. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, you might be able to. Just don't watch the movies. They're lying to you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, dude. Holy shit, man. Uh, I don't know, man. Those kind of stories, even if they're scary like that, I don't know. I think they bring people a little closer together. You know, and, and you know, in hindsight, it's kind of like uh, like the Hmong stories. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. That's embarrassing. But later on, you're like, wow, dude, that story brings a lot of people together. Yeah. You know? And so it's it, even people that don't know you will know. Well, that's a Hmong story, and you know how you can connect with somebody that doesn't even know you, like. You know how you, you can watch a TV show like Supernatural and you'll connect with the characters and it's almost like they're they're with you. I'm with you on this whole journey, even though I'm just watching it from my house, you know? Oh, yeah. Or listening to it. And so you, you, you create that uh that connection with those characters and, and that's kind of what I'd like to do with, with, with this podcast or with this uh this show is is get people to check out, you know, pay attention to the people that tell you the stories, you know. They're telling you from their perspective. Um, later on, you can tell them as you know, scary stories or funny stories, and they kind of, they kind of connect and, and they bring other people together. And you know, I, I, that's kind of where I'm, I want to head with this. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's an absolutely great idea. I mean, it kind of brings me back to you know thinking about you know like old like the old school times. You know, people sitting around a campfire. You know, yeah. scary ghost stories and scary stories. People are doing that for like decades, man. But it's, it's very hard to find that environment nowadays where, you know, people just kind of sit around and just kind of exchange personal stories that actually scared the shit out of themselves. You know what I mean? When it happened, because not a lot of people actually like to share those kind of stories because everyone wants That's to look true. cool and badass and shit like that, you know? And I think it's, it's a pretty good thing to start now. Um, especially during all this COVID shit, because, you know, now more than ever, people are kind of like isolated in their own homes more often than not. And, and uh, we don't know how long that's going to have like an impact or an effect on how people are going to be for the next year or so, you know, uh, based yeah. on how it's going. So being able to share these kind of stories, I think it's the, brings another 
element of being able to relate and connect with other people from just about anywhere across the world, across the country, you know. Hell, man, even people in other, like, other countries, you know, like, freaking China, man, you know, all those Chinese people got some messed up stories. <laughs> Dude, I... I yeah, Western ghosts, Eastern ghosts, man, the Eastern ghosts are fucking creepy as shit. <laughs> Man. They are, dude. There's a there's a really neat chick that I uh, I write to and I talk to her when I get a chance. And, and you know, um, her name is Sapphire. She's badass, dude. If yeah. you get a chance, go listen to her. Her name's uh, uh, her site. I think is called Stories with Sapphire, mm-hmm. and she tells. She's got the greatest voice, dude. It's like mm-hmm. it's a nice voice. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Keep talking, you know, she's got a really nice Go on. <laughs> no, and uh she's but she tells badass stories, man. It, it creepy as heck, man. And, and uh yeah. and I like it. I'm like, wow, that's neat. I just hope that I have I have a sexy enough voice to be able to girls come, hey man, I like your show. That's what I have voice. <laughs> and it's scary ass stories, you know. <laughs> But yeah, uh, if you guys ever get a chance, go listen to uh, and follow her. She, she's amazing. She really is. Uh, Sapphire. Stories with Sapphire. Um, she's got a YouTube channel. She's got a, a podcast here and there. Go to her website, register with She's really neat. Really neat gal. Um, I hope someday somebody will be talking about, man, ghost cast with threads. That dude's badass, you know? Fucking idiot, you know? <laughs> I don't have little happen. Little happen. You know? Yeah, you know. Every time yeah, you, you know, know, you gotta have the echo of those ghost cast. Ghost cast. Yeah. Right, right in your ear. <laughs> ghost cast, get your ass. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, shit. I, I had to change it to go from ghost cast to uh, chill ass. Chill you ass. Know, chill ass. That's my <laughs> name brand clothing that will be sold at some point. You know, ghost cast, chill ass. C H O A Z Z. Show ass. <laughs> show ass. Show ass, there. Get your ass. <laughs> no, man. Thanks, Mill, for uh, taking time out to come tell the stories and, and share it with everybody. I think it's really neat. Man, I really appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Anytime, bro. Anytime. Yeah. <clears throat> Later on, I'm going to bring you in more often so when we tell the stories, it scares the shit out of your ass. Oh, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> I have you guest appearing more than you'd realize. So. Oh. <laughs> All right, Mijo. Well, I love you. Thanks for being on here. Again, this is uh, my ghost cast. Anything you want to, any last words or anything you want to put out to the public? Yeah. Um, don't panic like a little bitch like I did. Keep calm. <laughs> <laughs> it gets worse every time. It gets worse. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mijo. Thanks yeah. again, guys. You're watching uh, and listening to my ghost cast with Raz Gonzalez. Have a good one and uh, keep the light on. <laughs> Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. I remember that house, that whole experience. There's a lot more stories to this, but we're limiting what we're putting out on that story because eh, a lot of people are involved in, in uh, and uh, it would probably creep you out more than we more than we are legally liable to creep you out. In. <laughs> but uh, man, that that was pretty jacked. There were so many things that that uh, that went wrong there, but. All right, guys, hope you liked uh, the episode. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Pass that on to your friends and uh, go from there. (laughs) Take care, guys. Till next time, this is my ghost cast.